Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel, it's me Kazaru. Or if you're new here, hello and welcome. And uh, please consider subscribing for you views if you love being sport and makeup and makeup tutorials and all that fun happy stuff. Okay, so by the thumbnail, as you already probably know, uh, this is actually really, really hard. I've been in my room going through all my palettes and then I was like, okay, there's a video that's around that a lot of people do that I don't think I've actually done this one yet. And I don't know how many it is, but I've set my target to five, which I think is quite hard. I feel like I should have done ten, but then I could have just done like all of them. But anyway, this is, so if I could only keep five eyeshadow palettes. This is not ranked in any particular order. I'm just going to show you the five palettes that I've sat through, gone through my collection, and then been like, which ones would I actually really want to keep? If I could only keep five, which ones would it be and why? Okay, so let's get straight into it. Okay, I've got them in front of me. <clears throat> so the first one is my BH Cosmetics Lost in Los Angeles and I've chosen this one because it is actually my only pastel palette and they have some stunning shimmers in here like sorry you can see but they have some absolutely beautiful shimmers in here they're just amazing I believe you can still get this palette and the quality is amazing, the shimmers are amazing, it just, I know, I could, I'm just going to keep on saying the word amazing because it is that, I love it, they're just so pretty and it's great for spring, it's great for, it's just all the time really, it's just, I go into this to get some lovely unique shimmer shades and you've got a lovely really good white hair, the Abbey shade and just the shimmery shades, just lovely, just a really lovely unique colour story in her. I just love them. So that is one of them that I do hold very dear and close to my heart. It is, yeah, it's definitely, yeah, it's gonna be in my five. Okay, next one. I chose, <laughs> again, really, really hard. So for my five, I chose Hella Beauty Retrograde, which looks like this. It's me. <laughs> um, so for that, you get a nice mirror in here as well. So I'm not gonna blind you. And just the colours in here are just beautiful. So lovely. They just work really well on my eyes. They last a long time. No stinging, hardly like like no fallout. I'm so glad I actually picked this palette up. I still think you can get this on Boots website and maybe on ASOS. Um, yeah, because they did say it was like, they weren't making it anymore and not that it was limited edition, but they weren't making, yeah. So I think if you'd like this color story, get it while you still can. And there's some cream to powders in here. They just blend on the eye really nicely. And also again, um, great for, if you're at school, we've got some subtle colours in here that you probably could get away with. I'm not telling you to wear lots of makeup to school, I'm just saying, like, you know, or work, school, just, you know, you can just play this one down quite a bit. You can go quite deep, you can build the colours up, but also you can just, yeah, you don't have to go in with all the shimmery looks, but, oh, just, yeah. I love it. It's rather yummy. That one. <laughs> beautiful um and this one i've put in my if i could only keep five palettes is my beauty bay the neutral neutral because for obvious reasons i feel you probably know already one it's amazing two the color puffs amazing too and you get so many different shades in here and obviously it's a neutral palette so if you have you know it's like my only neutral palette like I have some other palettes obviously that have like neutral colours in them but this is like my only one that has like different browns, different, it's got white, it's got black, it's got your neutral tanny brown shades and it's got this lovely pop of like pinky champagne-y colour and they are really flattering on my eyelids and they don't crease on me, I don't get laser fallout out of them either and the price is amazing, I mean what did I pay? I paid £14 for this uh, yeah, I wasn't in a sale at the time, but Beauty Bay are always having sales, if you don't know that already, they do. Um, so if you go on their website and have a little look, 
put some stuff in your basket and then leave it for like, I don't know, a few days because it is sometimes like a few days they will have deals on. You don't ever have to pay, like don't, you don't need to pay full price of that item. They do it on purpose. They don't really want you to pay. They're happy to get a bit less. Not happy to get a bit less, but I feel like they do it on purpose. It's like done in a certain way. And yeah, just wait for it to come down in price. I mean, you probably, I think it went to like £9. But unfortunately, me, I didn't wait. And I got it when it was £14. But you can get it cheaper. Let's clo close up a bit more. So you can see them. It is just a lovely stunning palette. I love it. Okay, so what was that? Oh, yeah, we're not ranking them, but that was number three. Next one. This is i'm shocked by this one well a lot, a lot of when i looked at like, people doing reviews on youtube i didn't want to because then i got this palette and then i did my review of it i didn't want to watch other people's to begin with because i was worried i was gonna like you know it's not gonna copy that i looks but you subconsciously sub what's that? subconsciously it goes into your brain and then yeah you without even realizing that you've done a look that you just watched on another youtuber do so i try best not to watch loads of videos of palettes that I that I'm gonna try out basically is what I'm trying to say. But anyway, it is the Anastasia Cosmos palette. Some lovers, some haters of this palette. I am a firm lover of this palette. Because and I chose this one. Because I'm just I'm in love. I'm in love with all the shimmers. I have nothing like this in my collection. Every shimmery shade is unique and different. And yeah. The mattes I do like, they're not like my favorite they're also not why i was drawn to this palette in the first place or why i wanted to buy the palette i got the palette purely because of all the amazing shimmery shades that's what i got it for um it'd been even cooler for me personally i know why they put their mats in here for the matte lovers and it's nice to have a matte and stuff but i feel like because they went so shimmer heavy in this palette they should have just taken these out and put different shimmery colors in and it should have just been a cosmos shimmery palette dream because yeah that's why it's in my five and why i would have this in my yeah if i could only keep five palettes at the moment obviously my my makeup and the palettes are growing i obviously have new ones that i've added to my collection but i haven't added them in this video at the moment so at the moment this is the five that i would keep and then my last one if you are not new, you will know that I really, really love this palette and it is um, my BH Naughty palette, so BH Cosmetics and she looks like this. She is huge, she is massive, she is beauty. Look at all those colours. You just, you can just do so much with the colour story in her <sighs> and it makes me really happy. Um, if you're new here, I did a video about eyeshadow palettes that make me happy. I'll try and link it, but if I can't, um, it's on my page somewhere. Have a little look <laughs> if you want to. But yeah, um, this one's like my favourite. This one here, Candid Fruit, Mistletoe, Very Merry, and Ornament is just a stunning, it's not picking up, a stunning pink shade. They're all stunning. Um, I don't think you can get this one anymore. You probably could though. I mean, you could probably look on eBay. Someone might have not really used theirs. If it bothers you getting used makeup, obviously then don't. Um, but I'm just saying, you probably could find this somewhere if you have a little hunt on the internet. But yeah, love it. Again, none of these are ranked like from one to five of the best or the, the purest one. They're just, if I could only keep five palettes at the moment, this is what it'll be. One, two, three. Yeah, I did do five, yeah. And uh, yeah, Ooh. this is a short, sweet video, but I hope you enjoyed anyway. And please consider subscribing if you haven't already and give me a big fat juicy thumbs up because it'll mean the world to me. And stay tuned for more makeup videos and tutorials and project pans. And yeah, remember, makeup should be fun. Don't take it too seriously. And always remember to take care always remember to take care of yourselves okay guys stay tuned for the next video and uh yeah it's uh, getting cold out so wrap up and put on your big jumpers okay bye guys